I don't want to have my baby in a car. You don't have to if you do exactly as I say. Not everybody's going to do exactly as you say. Let it breathe. Oh. The umbilical cord. Oh, yeah, uh, and some scissors and, and alcohol, right? I think I, I think I have what we, we might need in, in my bag in the car. Right, I'll, so. I'll get it. I'll get it. You've got all the stuff we need in your bag. <sighs> Carly, are you all right? Uh, I just need some air. Premature, so I guess maybe, maybe his lungs and everything are going to be oh, fine. He's, you think? he's not fine. He's perfect. It's going to be perfect. Are you okay? Are you? Yeah. I know it must be hard that he's Jack's. Dusty. Hey, there's no way to call an ambulance out here, Jack, so it looks like you're a designated driver. Sorry about the honeymoon, honey. I know it's not exactly the way we planned. Oh, uh, hey, that, that's... That's okay. As soon as we get back to town and, and know that everybody's okay, I'll pick a different destination. Like Paris. Oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's it was almost like that almost painting thing didn't even happen, so Make yourself useful and get that man a doctor. Me? 
The way you're hobbling around, I'm guessing bruised ribs. Yes, please, take care of yourself, Dusty. OK, where are you taking them? To be examined. We don't need you for that. <sighs> OK, forget the ribs. I'm not going anywhere. Look after Carly. Where, uh, where'd she go? She was just here. I don't know. I didn't see her leave. All right, I'm going to find her. If, if anything happens with Janet and the baby, I'll call you. Thanks. What happened to you? the doctor check out Janet and the baby? They're doing that now. And have you two talked about names? No, not yet. You should be with them. Janet has an obstetrician, the baby has a pediatrician, and they both have a nurse that can intimidate the Marines. <laughs> Who have you got? You. So why don't you tell me what's going on? since we left the cabin. And it's just, it scares me. Okay, okay. Then let's, let's find you a doctor, get you well, so we can start this honeymoon, okay? I'd like that. I better check on you. Well, no, wait a minute. Before you do, there's something I want you to see. What's that? These are called lab reports. When you told me of your suspicion that perhaps you were the father of the child and not Jack, well, I took the liberty to go ahead and run a DNA. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry you had to. You saved your apologies. Me. Buy me a cigar instead. What are you saying? What I'm saying is Jack Snyder is not the father of that child. You are. results are right here, and they ran the test multiple times. Well, what about the baby steel? They got it from the Avenue. 99.9%? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That makes me an unofficial grandfather. I'll get out of here. <laughs> Nothing unofficial about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. There you are. I'm sorry you had to hear about it like that, you know, here is the thing. And... Listen, I want you to know that Dusty didn't authorize me to do that. I did that all on my own. There's no need to apologize. Better. It's better for Dusty and Janet. Definitely better for the baby. Huh. Why don't you tell her? I think you should be the one, don't you? It's been a long time, Carly. I think you wound up with the right guy anyway. We can leave. We should go. No. We can get in the car. We can take a Not walk. Not until we're sure you're okay. Nurse, my, my wife is supposed to meet up with um, Dr. Monroe. Do you have any idea where she is? Yeah, she's right this way. Follow me. Hey. Are you sure? I'll be waiting right here for you. Where's my wife? Oh, the doctor's still with her, just running a few tests. What kind of tests? Oh, sorry, I just got paged. Excuse me. I just heard the news. I'm, I'm happy for your mom and Dusty. I am. And you too, Liberty. You don't have to be so noble with me. I know how much you wanted that baby. Oh, come on. Your mom and I never planned on having a family together. I know. And maybe it started out to help me, but then I became your child. It's been a big day, the wedding and everything. Well, that doesn't make this any less sad. Oh, baby is never a sad thing. That boy in there is healthy. You're cancer-free and you're headed off to college. Now, if I can just get out of here with everybody I love happy and healthy, I'll thank God for that. I want that, too. And I was hoping maybe you could help me out. Johnny. Oh, do you think they'll let you bring him in here? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, take him by the nursery first. And go get your ribs looked at. Yes, dear. Mom, I brought someone to see you.
Can you guys give me a minute with Jack, please? Yeah. How's Carly? Well, she's in with the doctors now. Hopefully it's just a buck. Liberty was worried about me. And she was worried that you'd be worried about me. I am. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm happy for you. No, there's nothing, there's nothing to be sorry about. Jack, for almost nine months, we, we had a baby. And we talked about its dreams and what it was going to be when it grew up. And that doesn't just go away. I'll always be here for you. If ever you need me, your liberty, or the baby. I know. I can always count on you. Thank you for loving me, Jack. And thank you for marrying me and giving my daughter and me a home. Well, hey. I know I haven't always done right by you. And I'm sorry about that. Come on now. Admitting that you had feelings for Carly was the best gift that you could have given either of us. And look at me. Look at me now. Dusty and I are gonna move into our dream home. I'm so happy. Yeah, well, make sure he throws in a couple of diamonds to go along with it. Because okay? <laughs> you deserve the best. So do you. Stop it now. Come on. You're the father, right? Uh, well, <laughs> as it turns out, no. Then get out. Oh, no, it's okay. He can stay. Yes, he does. It's feeding time. Okay. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to go check on Carly anyway, so... Congratulations. The doctor say. Jack, maybe you want to sit down. Now, Jack, it's nothing big. Well, it, it is big, Would but you it's just not tell me bad. What the and today's said, already been so overwhelming God. that I. Carly, please, whatever it is, I can handle it. We're in this together, for better or worse, in sickness and in health. Whatever's wrong with you, we'll face it together. I love you, G-Man. I love that we can always count on you. You sure can. Good. Because we're gonna need you now more than ever. We? Why do you keep saying... Who's we, Carly? Well, me and, and Parker and JJ and Sage. And our baby. We're gonna have a baby. A baby. A baby. <laughs> no. No. Yep. Oh. 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 Maybe I shouldn't do don't, that. Don't you stop. Don't you dare stop.